Every Sunday, winding along Cabrillo Boulevard is one of the oldest and most prestigious non-juried arts and craft shows in America. The inviting atmosphere lets people comfortably walk and look at fine arts and crafts while enjoying Santa Barbara's picturesque waterfront. The Santa Barbara Arts and Craft Show began in 1965 in De La Guerra Plaza, where local artists displayed their paintings by laying them out on the ground. The art show's original concept was based on international sidewalk art shows that were becoming popular in Mexico City, much like the Jardin del Arte that started in 1950. It's a uh, group of artists, so there were about 12 of them, who had paintings in De La Guerra Plaza. Originally it was called the uh, Domingo Show, and then in 1971 it uh, moved down to the oceanfront area and changed its name to the Santa Barbara Arts and Crafts Show, inviting functional artists as well as fine artists. Many of its members have been involved in the show for a number of years. I think we have um, about 15 of uh, members since the 1970s. We have a total of 55 members in the show that have been in at least 25 years. Uh, it's what I've done strictly for 25 years, just the art show. And I love it down there. I just think it's a fabulous thing. I really do. I came through here in 1966, and I loved the town and found out they were going to have an art show. And I had gotten accepted to UCSB in the art department, printing department. And I thought it might be a nice way to kind of help pay my tuition is to come here and try and sell my art. There are 183 artists who show their original work on the waterfront from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every Sunday and Saturdays of major holiday weekends. This show is unique in that every artist lives in Santa Barbara County and personally produces each piece that is for sale. You have to make what you sell yourself, can't have any help, and you cannot do assemblage. The informal atmosphere is a perfect setting for visitors to talk with the artists about their work and in some cases, watch them work. You're not talking to a salesperson, you're not talking to a staff person, you're talking to the actual person who created the item. It gives you a chance to see works you might not see other places. So uh, if they're curious and they show some energy, I just come all over that. And a lot of times when you meet someone and, and they talk with you and they, you, know, you can have a conversation with them, it also makes you more apt to buy a piece that they've made because now you have a personal relationship with them. For the Art Walk is also a good place for artists to hone their business skills learning what catches the public's eye and getting them to buy. A lot of artists aren't necessarily good business people, but when you're participating in something like this, you really have to keep track of what you're selling and know what you need to make again and, and as I said, you know, pay attention to what people are looking at. So you do learn business. I really didn't learn that much at, at uh, the university, but I did learn a lot on the street because when you do something there, you get instant feedback. There are several aspects that contribute to the show's longevity. For many patrons and artists, it's the social interaction that's special. But I hear from a lot of residents that this is just part of their routine. On Saturdays, they like to get up, they like to you know, talk to the show members that are down there, they have their favorites that they stop and chat with. For the public to be able to come down and have a free event right along the beach and know that they're not buying commercially made items is just so incredible. For many of the artists, it's a creative and supportive community that makes the Art Walk special. I've met different people every weekend, and I have to say every person I've met has been really welcoming. And for one artist, it's a legacy that he shares with his daughter. It's interesting because we're competing with each other, yet you want to see, the, see her do good, you know? So it's an interesting mix. We each have different take on things, basically. Doesn't doesn't really, uh, it's not, not a real problem. It's fun to see what she does. The Art Walk is also a great place to become inspired and learn. Future artists of all ages can get valuable insight to what it takes to create and sell art. There's just a lot of things that they could get exposed to on a weekend that would help them maybe in a later career. After half a century, the longevity of the Santa Barbara Arts and Crafts Show is a testament to our vibrant arts community and is one more example of something that makes our city a special place to live. It provides, um, provides an affordable outlet for, for people to shop and uh, it's, it's a micro business for these 183 members that are in the show. This is a wonderful opportunity for visitors and the city to really get to know um, the people in the area who are creative and producing some wonderful things.